President. The Senator from Vermont. Mr. President, while the Senator from Iowa was on the floor, and I'll be very brief because there's others waiting to speak, I'm so moved and touched by what he had to say. I had the privilege of being in that room with Senator from Iowa, Senator Harkin, and, and Senator Doe, both Senators Doe, mm -hmm. Senator Bob Doe, Senator Elizabeth Doe. You referred to Justin Dart's widow, yeah. and his hat was there. You and I saw him wearing that hat the day the disability legislation was signed into law on the um, White House lawn. In fact, I have a photograph I took of you standing there. <clears throat> Mr. President, I've had the privilege of serving in this body every day that Tom Harkin has been here. Nobody has spoken out more eloquently the needs for the disabled than Senator Harkin has. I know how he learned sign language so he could communicate with his brother. I've seen him with members of the disabled community. He is loved and he is respected. This was not the Senate's finest day. It was not profiles and courage to see what's happened. I'm glad you mentioned the veterans as though any of them would stand for something that would take over our country. Many of them lost limbs fighting for this country, fighting for the security of this country. They represent people who died fighting for this country. So this is one senator who will be here next year. And I pledge to the Senator Milo and to Senator Kerry, my seatmate. Actually, I have, <laughs> what do you say on either side of me? That I will be here and I will support you every step of the way. I yield the floor. I, I want, Mr. President, I just want to thank my, my good friend, my former chairman, with whom I have served all these years here in the Senate, uh, for his very kind remarks and his kind words. But more than that, I thank him for his many kindnesses that he's shown me and, and for upholding, I think, the finest traditions of the United States Senate. I say, Pat Leahy, when you think about a senator and what a senator should stand for and what a senator should do and how a senator should conduct himself or herself, you have to think about Pat Leahy. Uh, he's just been a stalwart here, always willing to work with people, always willing to give someone the benefit of the doubt, always willing to help move things through the Senate. And, you know, that's, that's the way the Senate used to be, Pat. It used to be that way. And thank God we still have people here like Pat Leahy.